So this was a reckless act uh, by Russia to actually uh, shoot down and destroy a satellite as part of a test of an anti-satellite uh, weapon system. Clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the wep weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. No, priyatam sami Soединенные Штаты эту гонку вооружений развивают самым активным образом. В 2020 году они создали космическое командование, приняли стратегию по космосу. Одна из главных целей этой стратегии. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The United States will work with our allies and partners to respond to Russia's irresponsible act. L'opération qui a consisté de la part de la Russie à envoyer un missile pour détruire un objet dans l'espace soulève beaucoup de questions. C'est un c'est un acte qui est tout à fait irresponsable et, et très dangereux. Irresponsable parce que eh bien on ne peut pas ainsi Euh, menacer euh, des objets euh, qui sont euh, en orbite et qui assurent des fonctions essentielles. So this was a reckless act uh, by Russia to actually uh, shoot down and destroy a satellite as part of a test of an anti-satellite uh, weapon system. Um, and um, and uh, uh, NATO has uh, developed a space uh, policy not least to address the challenges we see in space. NATO will not weaponize space. But at the same time, for many years, they ignore the initiative of Russia and China about the preparation of an agreement about the preparation of the weapons in the cosmic space. They just ignore it. But at the same time, the United States has developed this agreement to develop the weapons in the cosmic space. In 2020, Они создали космическое командование, приняли стратегию по космосу. Одна из главных целей этой стратегии сформулирована как создание комплексного военного преимущества в космическом пространстве.